Hello, I'm going to take a video, like I said, about how I apply my new Enhanced 3D Mascara Plus. It's amazing, it's easy, it's just finding your own technique and I have found mine. I'd love to share it with you and I hope it helps. So, when you do get yours, if you haven't tried it yet, it will take you a little bit of trial and error just to see how you like it and what not. So, again, I'm hoping that this will help you. Now, I'm going to take my glasses off because I need to be able to do this. So, that means I can't see very well. And so, I'll be using the camera here to try and apply it. And also use my mirror over here to kind of make it a little bit better and whatnot. So anyways, what I like to do is I kind of move it about and take the excess off, right? Because this is, le the key is less is best. And what I like to do is apply one coat top and bottom first. So, and like the other mascaras of any kind, even our original one, you were able to go like this and stuff like that. Not this one. This one is more up and down, okay? Just like that. And I'll be moving this back and forth a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. What I like about it too is we have our new wand which is very helpful, right? The wand, it's more pointy and stuff so it helps to guide and that you can go in the corners with it and separate. It helps to separate your lashes, right? Yeah, thank goodness for these mirrors. Now, if I happen to get some on me because I'm trying to do this quickly, I even at any time I just take it off after the fact, right? Okay, so that's one coat for that. I always go back in, bring it out, right? Have my eyes close. So I'm going to check over here. Oh, I see I put a little bit on my self. Right? Oh boy, I'm doing I'm doing it even worse. Yeah. Right, I look at that. Anyways. I thought ooh. There. Yeah. And then at the bottom, like I said, I'm going to do this over here just because. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, don't be shy to twisting it around and playing with it and dabbing it if you have to, right? Just a little bit of, ooh. I'm doing it in here so I don't poke my, my eyes out, right? Just put a little bit on and then I'll go in and... Like I said, with this new wand... Nice. Now for day wear, you could just put the gel in. You know, if you're going to go to the beach or whatever, it's just the gel. If you're going out and you want to really highlight your eyes, then you could put the fibers at the bottom. So I got one coat on. So see, by the time I got that, that one's kind of dry. Then what happens is I'm going to put gel, and then I'm going to put the fiber. Then I'm going to go over here and do gel and fiber. Then it gives a little bit of chance to just dry a little bit, so that when I add the gel to seal it, then that way it stays, it doesn't, the, the, the fibers and all that stuff doesn't come off, right? So, I like to do a second coat. With this one, you don't have to, because it gives you 400% times longer in your lashes. But I like to do a second coat because I like mine thicker. And so therefore, that's what I do. I, I like to do a second one. With the original, I would actually even do a third coat. 
Th that's how thick I liked it. But I find with this one I don't have to. Now if I was going to go out at nighttime, I might do even do a third one, right? But see how I do it? I close my eyes and just go up and down. And then you can even do twisting it, right? Like that. Now if I can do this with having a really hard time seeing, then if you can see, you should have no problems. So that's my first coat, right? That's my first coat. And now I'm doing the fibers. And again with the fibers, I do the wand thing too. So, And you don't want to wait too long after. Right? So see how I'm doing that? So now it's going to dry a little bit and I'm like twisting it. I always like to do that and then in and out with that. And I'm going to do my other eye. So there you go. And then I get my thing, my fibers. See that? Get some down there. You just take it off, right? All right that back in. Now I'm going to get my gel to seal it. Now again, because I like to do two coats, what I do, instead of just sealing it with the gel, I'm going to do with another fiber. So it's the same thing. You always finish with the gel, but because I like to do two coats and I want to show you, so this is what I would do because some people do. So there I'm closing. If you want just one, this you would be done after this. This would be your last thing. But if you want multiples layers, depending on the look you're looking for, then you just continue on what I'm doing. Now again, ladies, this is my technique that I have found that works for me. When you get yours in your mascara, you can try it. You can try different techniques and see what works for you. But see what I like about this one? Oops, I'm getting some down at the bottom there. Okay, so now again, I'm going to right away uh, put a little bit. Now I'm not going so far. I'm just concentrating on the tips of it, right? Just the tips of the eyelashes. Okay, I think that's good. So I would normally put on my uh, glasses to check it out, but I'm just showing you, right? So again... I'm doing the other eye, right? That's sealing it. Again, you'd be done if you're doing one coat. And for some, one coat is plenty. When I first put this on with Victoria, the first coat, she was like, oh, wow. I did two coats. She goes, holy Hannah. I even did three coats. She's like, wow. So... You know, so there's the, that's the first coat. And then I just concentrate on the tips of the lashes this time. Okay. And so that's that. And now you got to seal it. Always seal it. So that would be a second coat here. And again, if you're going to build up more, that's up to you, right? But I found with this new enhanced one, two coats is definitely enough.
Okay, so do you see that? Cool, eh? Now, again, and you can go like this to take the excess off, you know. Okay, so that's two coats, right? So that's done. If you wanted to do another one, you would do fiber and always finish with your gel. Always finish with the gel. The gel is what seals and holds your fibers in. If you do not put the gel at the end, you will find flakes here and there. What I would like to do is I normally take a blow dryer, blow dry it up a little bit, and then that way, if there's any loose ones that happen to fall, then it falls. But I always walk around and stuff like that and then recheck just to make sure that it's all done. So let me see now. Of course, I know that I got a little bit on my eyes there. But yeah, wow. Oh, yeah, see? And I just go in there. We just get a cute tip. See, I can't see, right? So I would just go in there and take take that off. But it's so easy to to take it off if you happen to uh, get some on you. Now, the original one, you absolutely need to get um, a Q-tip with a little bit of oil, just very little, just to, to get the excess off. But with the original, it is very light. So see, I can even just do that, just flickering it off like that. But I see I can see I would do this a little bit more uh, intense with my glasses on and off and stuff like that. But I just wanted to show you. But so even for those people who are just going to learn how to use mascaras that haven't done in a long time, as you can see, it's pretty easy. It's fun. I did it. I was blind as a bat, basically, right? So, you know, have fun with your mascara and whatnot and uh, build it the way you want to. You're going out for something special and you want grand. Just keep on building. You know, I do uh, say that when you do get your mascara, that you play with it for the first week. And then you'll say, wow, I like to doing it this way. Oh, I, I don't like it this way, this and that. Uh, that goes with the original and that goes with this one. It takes a little bit of getting used to, to apply. It's not just a regular mascara. You can't just put it on. It doesn't just color your lashes. It actually builds and makes your lashes. You kind of, it's like falsies in a bottle. I absolutely love it. Now, another thing that I love that I have found with you, the this um, 3D Enhance one, your lashes feel like real lashes. It doesn't get hard or whatever. You can go like this. Now, I don't know if it's dry or not, but look at that. They feel like soft. They don't go hard. Even later on, they are nice. They look beautiful. They feel beautiful. You will love your 3D Mascara Plus with fiber. I'm telling you, you must try it. And if you do, comment, message me and tell me because that makes me happy because that's one of the reasons I got into this business was because I loved it and for me and I thought every lady needs it and that was the original. I can't even believe that we have the, it made it even better. Wow. Anyways, that's enough. I'll let you go. If you got yourself one and you're wondering how it works, try it and let me know as well if that is better for you. So, anyways, over and out, and uh, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.